everyone, today I wanted to set up a tutorial on how to use the scan tool within the Thinkorswim platform. Now there's an endless amount of possible scans you can do within Thinkorswim. So today I wanted to show you how to set up a scan, how to save that scan, and then how to link that scan to your charts to save you time. So the first thing you want to do is come up here and hit the scan tab if you haven't already done so. And we got to think about the scan we want to do. So I like to do a scan on stocks that had very good day. So let's go ahead and add a stock filter. And let's make sure that we're not doing stocks that aren't traded. So let's do a volume of at least 500,000. And let's add another filter. And we'll do a price, let's say we at least want a dollar. And We'll make sure this is low, so 25. So stocks that traded between $1 and $25. And let's say had a percent increase of 5%. And let's go ahead and scan. Now here we get a list of stocks. So now what I want to do is I want to save this scan. This is a scan I might want to do again. So in order to save it, I want to come up here and hit this and click Save Scan. Here I can type in any name I want and save it under that scan. I have it under the name Big Increase. So if I hit that, that's what brings up and it'll bring up the same list. Now in addition to being able to view the list here, I might want it in one of my gadgets. Now I can see it's already listed right here, but let's go ahead and delete that and I can show you how to add a gadget from the start. So what you want to do to do that is go ahead and click the plus sign to add a gadget. I want to add one of my watch lists and then I want to change that watch list and to that I go to personal and then big increase. And I can see this list over here matches this list over here. Now I may want to check out some of these stocks in order to evaluate them, I'd want to use chart tool for that. But that could be time consuming if I want to check out AGEN. Come over here, I type it in, AGEN. You know, and that wastes time. So one way I can do that is that I can link this watch list to my chart. So let me go back to the scan tool. And there's a link little tab right here. Now I can put this on one and then come back to the chart tool and this is already on one but if it wasn't I could put it on one there now whenever I click these it's automatically going to go into my chart pretty cool now let's say I want to look at a couple things at the same time I could come up here and hit this button and add a second chart now this one I want to link to say two now if I want to look at the two, I can then come up here and click this is linked to two, so I can do some comparison. Now in addition to that, I can also pull up two different charts on the same stock. So here I have a daily chart for the year, and here I have a three-year chart set to weekly. Now I want to link this to number one. Now if I want to take a closer look at any of these, I just go ahead and click it, and this will give me a side-by-side -side view of the same stock in two different charts. Alright, let's head back over to the scan tool and let's set up another scan. So in addition to just filters for stocks, you can add a study. So one of the scans that I like to do is similar to this one, but I don't want to, let's say a minimum of 25. Let's get rid of this. And let's do a 2% increase. And then let's add a study filter. And the study filter I want to add is something near, let me see, near highs and lows. And then let's add 2%. And let's look in the last 45 days. So I want to see what this scan is stocks that trade at least 500,000 a day has a minimum price of $25 and, and is up 2% within its high within the last 45 days. 
and that gives me this list. So here I can see these stocks and let's go ahead and let's change this to reach new highs. And you can see it's the same list. So if I go over here and bring up my chart tool and then click any of the names in the list, it's going to give me a side-by-side -side comparison. You can see all these stocks have broken out and they're within their high of 2% within the last 45 days. And let's do one more scan. So another scan I like, let's get rid of these, is let's check for unusual activity. So for this, I want to go into the option hacker and I want to make sure that all optionable is selected and then I just want to check the volume on all optionable stocks. So looking at this I can see what stocks had high volumes in the options market today and this is listed by volume so I can see here we have a over a hundred thousand traded in here and let's pick one out let's look at Budweiser so Budweiser had 45,000 contracts traded today in the May 17 115 calls and you can see they traded at the price of 520 and let me see the bid was 490 and the ask was 530 so most likely they were buying so they were bullish on this trade now this doesn't tell you for sure what it is you don't know if they're buying or selling just based on the information here it's really a judgment call and you don't know what else could have been on the trade you know they could be bullish on Budweiser or perhaps that they're making a hedge on a different position that they already own. So you really have to pay attention to all these things if you're going to look at unusual activity. Let's check out. Let's increase this a little bit. Let's do another scan. And let's see if we see any more Budweiser. So here's another Bud. So here it looks like the last one traded at 250, but the market is 255 at 270. And the high on the day was 260. So this tells me they were probably buying these two. So today is May 4th. So I like the way this trade looks. If Budweiser skyrockets after this, that could be something to think about. Let's go ahead and check out Bud. So Budweiser looks like it got hit right here and then somebody thinks it's going to break out again and it looks like it is starting to break out again. So the scan tool just alerted us to Budweiser and the fact that someone is buying a lot of these Bud calls and that could be a good indication that they might know something that you don't know and the stock's going to break out and it looks like that's already happened. So that's how you use the scan tool and uh, I hope you can find some good stocks to trade.